Yeah, hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing? Yeah, everything's straight. You know, same old stuff. Yeah, just working. Taking care of the family. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they doing real good, man. I appreciate you asking about that. Did I hear about who? Chuck Clark. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chuck Clark. It's safety for the Ravens, yeah. You calling me about that? I, no, I just, I heard that people have been calling, but I haven't got calls myself. I, what, what am I doing with taking that call? Oh, no, 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 no. They told you to call EDC, not ING. Let me get you in the right direction. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, it has been reported. The Ravens even put it on their own website. So when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, Chuck Clark is probably really gone because why would the Ravens put it out there on their own website? But anyway, before we get into this video, I love y'all team keep it clean. Special shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for supporting the channel a little bit extra. Uh, and we all love y'all and love your input into the channel. Questions from subscribers. We're coming back with it soon. It's just been so much going on, as you all can tell. Now, with Chuck Clark, let's just read the excerpt out of the from BaltimoreRavens.com that they put on there. So I'm like, oh, and I saw, okay now, Ravens. Anyway, it says, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler said there would be a market for Clark if he was available. Uh, I'm hearing, and this is from Jeremy Fowler. I'm hearing that multiple teams checked in on Chuck Clark's status on draft night in light of Baltimore drafting safety Kyle Hamilton at number 14 overall. So when the Ravens, again, Kyle Hamilton was not a need. Kyle Hamilton was a luxury. But <laughs> by the way, things looking like they're going to be going, it's looking like the Ravens are going to be uh, deleting the safety uh, off of their squad. Um, so and, and with Chuck Clark, like, let's just keep reading before we get into it. Said presumably to pair him with Marcus Williams for a backfield tandem. Clark isn't requesting a trade, but wants to play, which is why he would welcome a potential change. Maybe nothing happens, but it's worth noting. Um, and then I, I hadn't even seen this from Jeff Zrebic. I'm like, come on, your team keep Y'all usually tell me everything, even if it's something that I saw already. But I hadn't seen this uh, where somebody asked Jeff Zrebic. They said, have you heard anything about Chuck Clark asking for a trade? Uh, I saw a blue check tweeted out, but. He's not the most reliable source. <laughs> what blue check he was talking about? I don't know. I'm sure some of y'all are going to say a certain name in the comment section. I already see it coming. But anyway, Jeff Zrebic said, I don't know if he's officially asked for a trade. That I cannot confirm. I do know that he's apparently unhappy with how a few things have played out this offseason. There's certainly something there. So, Jeff Zrebic clearing it up. And he, the, the story is valid. Something popping with Chuck Clark. Um, and, of course, we remember right before the second day of the draft, JLC, Jason LaConfora, he said it's expected that the Ravens are going to trade Chuck Clark. Um, but it would make sense to me. Like, Chuck Clark knows the business. He knows the business. And I would not be mad at him if uh, he did request a trade. Because, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect... Kyle Hamilton to cut into Chuck Clark's playtime. Uh, well, actually, I would significant because he's a first round pick and he's a defensive player too. Ooh, that's that's, that's a double whammy right there for the Ravens. That's a double whammy. So um, Chuck Clark, his playtime, his play style, it, it would definitely be changing. He would definitely have a, a, a different role because the Ravens are going to want to make sure that that first round draft pick at safety he gets on the field. Some way, somehow, they are going to want him to be on the field. With Chuck Clark, I could understand the frustration because it's like, all right, oh, oh, we got Marcus Williams. We about to pay up Marcus Williams with me. All right, let's go. Let's get it, man. 
I done, I tried with Earl Thomas, but he, he wanted to swing on me, so that ain't work out. Um, but <laughs> so. Shout out to Chuck, man. Chuck don't say much, man. Chuck don't, he don't say much. He don't cause no problems. He, he just, he, he always keep a low profile, super quiet dude, man. He don't be in no mess. Again, it's just, except for the whole Earl Thomas thing. But besides that, Chuck, Chuck been cool, man. He been cool with everything. He tweet about once a year That tweet that he tweeted out a couple of days ago That was his annual tweet Got it out of the system So it's like oh yeah 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 we, 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 something, Something's about to happen Something's about to go down with Chucky um, But yeah I would not be surprised for him to If he did request a trade I know Jeff Rebick said he's not sure if he did or not But I wouldn't be surprised if he did because it's like, all right, I'm getting ready to pay with Marcus Williams. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's get it popping. Let's, just get, let's take care of this business, man. And then all of a sudden, oh, the Ravens with the 14th overall selection, they select Notre Dame safety, Kyle Hamilton. I said, like, what? Oh, y'all really? Oh. Oh, y'all really about to do? Oh. Oh, y'all really just? Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, I see. Okay. I get it. Gotcha. I see what it is. Yeah, I went out. I, I would do the same thing if that's what Chuck even did. Um, but with Jeff Zrebik saying that Chuck is, he's, he's apparently unhappy with how some things have played out uh, this offseason. I mean, it that makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, Baltimore Ravens in the article, they also said that Zrebik pointed out, uh, pointed specifically to the Philadelphia Eagles, Giants, and Jets as teams who could be looking for safety help. Uh, if he went to the Giants, uh, like there had been a lot of rumors, and, and initially I'm like, man, why, why are there all, all these rumors about him possibly going to the Giants? But then y'all put me on in the comment section, like, oh, because of Wink. And I was like, ah, I didn't even think about that. I did not even think about that, but that would make a lot of sense. But um, Jeff mentioned it as well. Clark could reunite with defensive coordinator Wink Martindale with the Giants and an added bonus. Guess what? If Chuck Clark went to the Giants, then he would be able to play these Ravens. And the Ravens would also be able to play him. So it can go, it can go either way. Um, so we'll see how that goes down. Now, it's funny. Um, time, timing is everything. We talked about Chuck Clark's tweet. Uh, one of my guys, uh, Eric, he sent me an email this morning. And he's talking about the tweet, the Chuck Clark tweet. He said, I, I know this tweet is a few days old. And I don't want to read too much into it, but... What do you think Chuck Clark means by this? And we talked about that uh, a few days ago about what we think Chuck Clark means by it. And, and to me, I think it's, I told y'all first, he, first he was probably at like, uh, he was probably like in Disney World or something. He might've been at Bush Gardens and he was getting ready to go on a roller coaster. And he was like a little unsure of it. And he's like, oh man, I, I don't know about this one, yo. I, I don't know. He was with his family and stuff and he's getting kind of nervous. And then he, that's when he like, you know what, let me take the Twitter for it. And he said, this can go one or two ways. It can go up. It can go down. Either way, I'm prepared. So it was at that point when he tweeted it out that he gained the confidence to step aboard that roller coaster. Me, I ain't got that confidence. Yeah, I ain't no roller coaster person. Last time I was on a roller coaster, oh boy, it was a Scooby-Doo roller coaster back in like fifth or sixth grade. And I remember going on it. It ain't even go upside down. That's the worst part. Of it. it ain't even go upside down. It's just going like that and doing all these turns and stuff. My eyes were like crazy watery and stuff. And I just, I hated it. Never got on a roller coaster ever again. So I was scarred. But that's, that's my story. But anyway, um, and he said it was retweeted by Deshaun Elliott, who was recently traded. But well, he wasn't traded. His deal expired and he, uh, he'd signed with the Lions. So he wasn't traded. Um, but since my guy Eric, he said since Deshaun Elliott retweeted it, he was thinking like, oh, OK, hey, there's some validity to that. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it could just be Deshaun Elliott being like, hey, man, I know how these Ravens get down and not not even how they get down. But I know I understand it's the business. It's the business. And hey, I wanted to stay with the Ravens. Ravens ain't want me. OK, cool. I get it. I know my history or whatnot. All right, I'm in Detroit. On the bigger and better things. Well, better, but on the different things. So maybe he just retweeting it just to show support for Chuck Clark. That's his boy. They, they obviously work together, um, but that's his guy. He probably like, hey, Chuck, you getting ready to be on another team too. I already know what's coming. Let me just put the people that follow me on 
So they won't be surprised when it happens to you too. Because that's the, that's the nature of the game. That's the business, man. Stuff happens to where people, they are given opportunities in, in, in the NFL. And things happen to where people are removed and the opportunities are taken away from them. Look at both Chuck Clark and uh, Deshaun Elliott. Look at how that situation started. Chuck Clark was a six-round draft pick. I forgot what year. And I remember, um, I think his first interception, it was actually in a game against the Chiefs. I want to say in 2018, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, yeah, I think it was in 2018 though, when we played the Chiefs in that, oof, that heartbreaking game, that overtime game. I think that was it. But anyway, because somebody, a safety had got injured for a little bit, but then that safety came back in and Chuck Clark went back to the sidelines. But then um, Chuck Clark, he got his real opportunity when Tony Jefferson went down. Tony Jefferson went down with the, like, the ACL, MCL, some CL injury, and he was out. Then Chuck Clark stepped in, and everybody uh, ran to the Raven. Oh, Chuck Clark, he's so smart. He knows his Ravens defense. Da -da -da -da. So Chuck Clark, he was in there. He was solid. Ended up getting his contract extension. Boom. With Deshaun Elliott, <laughs> he uh, was a fifth-round pick. Either fifth or sixth round pick from Texas came out thumping, hitting anybody in front of him. He ain't care who it was. Just he would go crazy with it. Um, he of course had his injury problems, but he was he still remained on the team. What happened in 2020? That's when Earl Thomas, all that stuff with Earl Thomas, he wanted to play ready to rumble, but in practice and stuff. Earl Thomas ended up swinging on Chuck Clark. Uh, did he connect? I'm not sure. I don't remember. But Earl Thomas, the Ravens were like, all right, boom, that's it. We actually been wanting to get this dude off the team for a while now because we regretted giving him all this money. So, all right, conduct detrimental. Since you swung on your teammate, conduct detrimental. And, you know, I, I bet the Ravens were probably like, hey, they, they probably telling Chuck Clark, hey, go, go poke the bear. Go poke. Try, try to mess with Earl Thomas because we see he's a little emotional right now. Let's, so go, go mess with him. Because we, hey, we, we regret giving him all this money. He wasn't a bad player for us, but we regret giving him all this money. We gave him a lot of money. And we probably shouldn't have, but hey, we, it, it happened. But we trying to get out of it. Go go mess with him. So Chuck Clark was like, okay. He started poking him, poking him, poking him, poking him. Then Earl Thomas, oh, wow. and that was that. So they're like, ah, we got him. All right, conduct detrimental. You're gone. You're out. Um, and then now Earl Thomas got, oof, he got a lot going on right now. So, oof, that's, yeah, anyway, um, so that's how Deshaun Elliott got his opportunity. He wasn't supposed to be the starting safety. Chuck Clark wasn't supposed to be the starting. Neither one of them two was supposed to be Ravens starting safeties. But because of situations, they ended up getting pushed into the limelight. And now, Deshaun Elliott, his contract ran out. He went to the Lions. Chuck Clark, he still got two years left on his deal. But the Ravens, they drafted Kyle Hamilton. Now they got their safety tandem for the next five years. Yet Chuck Clark does wear the green dot, but you got your next you, you got your safety tandem for the next five years. Chuck Clark probably they probably looking at Chuck Clark like, hey, we would love to keep you. And then I know John Harbaugh. Somebody told me in the comment section, hey, John Harbaugh said that they're gonna keep Chuck Clark. He said they want to keep Chuck Clark around. And I was like, uh, they they also said Aaron Acosta, the GM, who's a level above the head coach, the GM. He said they anticipate picking up Hollywood Brown's fifth-year option. And guess how that turned out. But you also got to remember, too, you got to look at Ravens recently. And, again, I've been saying they are the NBA of the NFL right now. Because in the NBA, the players rule. The players run it. They run it. Player want to be traded somewhere, boom, NBA team, like, all right, bye, you, you go. We'll trade you here. And Ravens, same thing. Hayden Hurst want to be traded? Trade it. Orlando Brown Jr. want to be traded? Trade it. Hollywood Brown want to be traded? Trade it. If Chuck Clark asks to be traded, he will get traded. It's going to happen. It's going to, all he got to do is ask. That's it. Ask and your wish will be granted. You will be traded. So I think right now at this point, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. There's got to be. But again, back to what I was saying earlier with the Ravens having their, they have their safeties locked up for the next five years the, the two safeties next for the next five years so they're probably looking at like chuck like okay we we love to keep him but it's kind of a luxury right now and me honestly i wouldn't mind if they kept chuck clark 
because uh, I understand, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But I also understand, like, right now, um, his value as far as them possibly trading him, uh, his value is probably at his highest because it's only his value is only going to get lower from here. Reason being, and not saying that based off of his play, just based off of him, because the Ravens have their safeties. They got two safeties for the next five years. So teams know that Ravens are not Chuck. They know Chuck Clark is not the long term answer for the Ravens as safety. They know that. So his value can only go down from here. So the Ravens, I'm sure they will trade him soon enough uh, because this is where they'll be able to get the max return for him right here, right now. But again, shout out to Chuck Clark for how he's handling it. This thing is not, it's not out here getting ugly. And again, Jeff Zrebic said apparently Chuck Clark is unhappy, but he ain't out here getting ugly. Yeah, he tweeted this little subliminal tweet, but that wasn't nothing. That wasn't nothing. Again, that, that, that's probably about a roller coaster. Probably wasn't even, that probably ain't even had nothing to do with the Ravens, man. But this thing could have got, it could have gotten really ugly, but it hasn't. So that's a good thing. So shout out to Chuck Clark and shout out to the Ravens for keeping it on a low as much as they possibly can. But the fact that teams have been calling, um, they know. They know. They're like, t obviously, these other 31 teams, they know the business too. They know how it goes. And you draft to replace. You draft to replenish. So... The Ravens are certainly replenished and at safety. So I'm sure soon enough now, Chuck is going to be officially replaced. And then uh, there's, of course, been the, the, the talk about the green dot, the green dot. Somebody told me in the comment section that Michael Parsons, that he actually wore the green dot for the Cowboys last year. And I'm like, what, really? You sure? If, if so, I didn't know. And then somebody else, I got to double check on this one because I'm not sure. Somebody said that C.J. Mosley wore it in his rookie year. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it isn't. I just don't remember. I know he eventually wore it because um, they, they always talked about with C.J. Mosley. One of the things about him was that he was extremely smart, and he was. C.J. Mosley, the thing, he, he was a really good linebacker. I think with him, his only issue or his biggest issue to me is that he lacked explosiveness. That was the biggest issue with C.J. Mosley. He, he lacked explosiveness. But good tackler, was really good at reading the plays and whatnot. He's a really good linebacker, um, but he just lacked that explosiveness. And Ravens, again, they tried to re-sign him, but it wasn't enough money. I'm like, oh, nah, I'm straight. Let me go to the New York Ravens. <laughs> they going to pay me. But anyway, sidetrack. Um, so with Kyle Hamilton, could he possibly get the green dot? Ah, I guess it's possible, anything possible. But I still think if they traded Chuck Clark, I still think it would go to Marcus Williams. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And just like Chuck Clark is probably going to be really, really soon, we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. How to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. How to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right? Right and great Shout out to Graven.